So with the season of arrivals bringing many weapons to our attention, the gnawing hunger is definitely around the top of the list. Almost every Crucible match I play, at least one person has been using this gun, and I was like, uh, why? And honestly, it turns out this gun is actually really good in Crucible. Now, I'll be honest, I typically don't use autos, and I usually use hand cannons like Thorn and Dire Promise, but I'll be honest, this gun is actually hella fun to use. Now with using this gun and recording and trying to get clips for this, I actually got a decent amount of high kill games just by screwing around with, you know, music playing and just messing around in Crucible, having a good time. And with skill based matchmaking out of the game right now, uh, you can actually use guns that you wouldn't typically use and have a lot of fun with them. So I was like, you know what, there's a lot of hype around this gun. I've been dying to literally a gnawing hunger at least every game that I've played. So I was like, all right, fine. Let me use it on stream for a little bit and see what happens. And holy shiza, was I shocked. So enough of that. Let's get right into the roles that you would want for this gun. Now, all the roles for this gun are on the screen right now. And for the first slot, you either want an extended barrel or hammer forge rifling. And, you know, small bore as well could be good. The second slot, you want accurized rounds. Accurized rounds is probably the only good one that I would use in the second slot. However, if you want to use extended mag and tactical mag, go for it. But I like having range on my autos, so I'd go with accurized rounds for PvP. So for your first perk slot, either tap the trigger, zen moment, subsidence, or auto loading holster. Now, me personally, I prefer auto loading holster because what this does is it automatically reloads your weapon over time. And I found while playing control and you know other 6v6 game modes, this feature it kind of helps a lot. And this is because by the time you're done using this weapon, like your sniper rifle or your shotgun, by the time you switch back to your gnawing hunger, it's already reloaded and ready to go. And finally, for the last perk slot, there are a couple of different ways to go. And I'm gonna explain just testing around with this what I prefer out of them so for pvp kill clip in my opinion is probably the best one to use and what kill clip does is reloading after kill does grant increased damage but yeah after using this gun and messing around with it i will say for pvp and trials for pomp and trials i probably wouldn't use this gun but it is still a really fun gun to use and it's actually really good for control and other 6v6 modes you could definitely use it in trials and comp i'm not saying you can't i just don't see myself using this over a summoner or a suros or a hard light just because those guns seem to be better uh, just from my experience i mean if you think otherwise you can comment and let me know because i'm not like a huge auto rifle fan so if this is maybe your favorite auto rifle let me know i know it is a gun i'll probably definitely use a lot more just because of how fun it is to use now if this video did help be sure to like comment and subscribe i really would appreciate it and a lot of you are new here so if you didn't know i do stream live on twitter daily at twitch.tv slash tricks i'll put it on the screen right now and i do a lot of pvp and pve help i'm not the best pv player i know what i'm doing for most things but if you need like a comp carry or you know anything like that in pvp just feel free to come to the stream and i'll help you out and yeah as always uh be sure to like comment subscribe like i said before and as always i will see you guys in the next one all right peace